Hello, welcome to the channel. It's been a very long time since I uploaded the video, so without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you some basic things about uh, standard means in SolidWorks. So let's have a look at it. First, I'm going to open an assembly file. You can click on file here and then new, or else you can simply press Ctrl N. This time, instead of choosing a part template, I'm going to choose an assembly template. So we have the design canvas here. As soon as you open an assembly template, SOLIDWORKS will prompt you to select the parts. So these are the parts which I created for this tutorial. That is part A assembly and part B assembly. So I'm going to select these two parts and click on open. So here I have part A. This is a male part. And then we have female part. So I'm going to place this male part here or part A on the design canvas. Now we have a uh, part B, which is a female part. And I want this particular cylinder, the top cylinder to go inside the hole. So I want this part B to be upside down. To do that, I can do it later in the mates or simply I can change the orientation. I can rotate this part or component about Z axis or Y, sorry, X axis, that doesn't matter because it's a cylinder. So I'm gonna rotate this about X axis and I'm gonna place this here. Now we have these two parts in proper alignment. Also, this part, you can move it freely in the design canvas, but you can't move this because this is fixed. Also, when I try to move this by clicking on this particular part, SOLIDWORKS will show a message saying that the selected component is fixed and you cannot move that. To change that, simply right click on that and uh, click on float here and then the condition will change to float. For now, I'm not going to do that because we don't really need this to be in float condition for this particular assembly, but I'm going to show you how to uh, play around with it. So here we have two parts and uh, I'm going to click on mate. Now when I click on mate, here we can see uh, entities to mate. Over there, I'm going to select this face of the cylinder and I'm going to select this face of the hole as I want both of them to be in mating condition. Now whenever you select entities for mating, SOLIDWORKS will analyze the design and uh, it will choose a mate automatically if it can. For now, we have selected two circles or two circular cross sections, I mean to say cylinders and SOLIDWORKS detected that and it gave us a concentric mate. I want this to be a concentric mate and if you want a different kind of mate here, you can always do that by selecting the mates here. And this is under standard mates, and we are going to discuss. We are discussing only standard mates here. Uh, there is no chance of coincident here, but we have a parallel mate. So this cylinder is parallel to this cylinder or the hole, and then we have perpendicular mate. So this cylinder is perpendicular to this cylinder. Then we have tangent. So whenever you select tangent the circular cross section will become tangent to another circular cross section or maybe a straight line that's it that doesn't matter or a or an edge i just want this to be concentric to this and if i choose uh, if i just flip this it will turn the component upside down as you can observe the bottom component is not moving at all it is stationary but the top component which is a female component it is moving all the time and uh, i'm going to switch back to normal and i'm going to select ok now we have a concentric mate between the cylinder and the hole and you can always move this part up and down and you can rotate the part also but you can't move this left or right because it is concentric to the cylinder and uh, i want this surface and this surface to be in touch with each other I can achieve that by either selecting this edge and this edge or I can simply do that by selecting this surface and this surface. So I want to select the edges first and show you how it works. 
once I select the edges, SolidWorks will detect that there is a possibility of coincidental mate here and it gave us a coincident mate. But concentric, you can again have a concentric mate, but we don't really need that because this cylinder is already in concentric mate with the hole. So I'm going to go back to coincident and uh, click on OK. Now I'll just delete this coincident mate here and I'll move this a little bit up. This time instead of selecting the edge, I'm going to select the uh, surface. So select this surface and select this surface. Now they will be coincidental to each other. You can again have a parallel mate there, but you can't have a perpendicular mate because this cylinder is already co concentric to the hole. Again, we can give some distance between these two. If you don't want it to be coincident, but you want some gap between these two, you can always give a distance here. Now, let's say I want to have a gap of 80 mm here. I can always do that by giving the distance. But as per the assembly, we want this to be coincident. So I'm going to click on coincident again and click on OK. I want to switch to trimetric view. Whenever you are doing the assembly, you can always fix the part or the assembly to the origin. I'm going to show you how. For that, first we will display the origins of all the parts. Click on this option here and select view origins. As you can see, we have the origin of the design canvas here. Then we have origin of part A and part B. Now, if I go and select mate and click on this origin here, and then select this origin and then check on coincident do you think it will happen the answer is no that is because uh, the bottom part is fixed and if I select this option add this meet and break other mates to satisfy this is what it will show it will show an error and you can see that there is an error here so I'm gonna right click on that and delete it and I'm gonna close this mate box right now right click on this bottom part and make it float so once you change the float condition now this part is capable of moving here and there on the design canvas even the bottom part can move up and down so select mate and then select this origin here and select this origin here you can also do that by expanding this design tree here and then selecting the origins from there you can also select the origin of the part from here or you can simply display the origins and select the origins from there as you can see uh, we have changed the condition of this part we made it into float condition and SOLIDWORKS detected that there is a possibility of coincident mate there so we are going to go with coincident mate here And I'm gonna turn this off. This way you can use standard mates and SOLIDWORKS to do some basic assembly of components. I'm gonna discuss more about standard mates in future videos and also I'm going to make some videos on uh, mechanical mates and other mates we have in SOLIDWORKS. Till then stay tuned to the channel. If you like the video subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching the video.